Hello and welcome to the Deployment Guy, which is a series of short tutorials for people just starting out in the world of Intune, Config Manager and all things OSD. In today's video I'm going to show you how I configure MFA and Azure AD using conditional access with trusted locations. This basically means that you can set a boundary for your company using a public IP address and your users will only ever be prompted for MFA whilst outside this boundary and not whilst on site, which makes it a little less irritating for your end users. The first thing we're going to do is open a web browser. We're going to go to Azure via portal.azure.com. On the left hand side, we're going to scroll down to Azure Active Directory. And again, we're going to scroll down to Security. In here, we're going to select Conditional Access. And the first thing we're going to do is select name locations. We're going to use IP ranges locations and we'll give it a name such as the deployment guy HQ. Select mark to trusted location. And this is where we input our public IP. So you can see public IP with a slash 30. Select add and create. Next thing we're going to do, we'll select policies. Create a new policy. Give it a name such as MFA hyphen staff. Select under users. You can either select all users if you want, or you can point it to a group of users. So in this instance, I'll select a group of staff members and uh, users hyphen staff. Select that under cloud apps. I'm going to select all apps and the conditions, device platform, I'm going to configure this to yes, then any device, so basically any device they use to try and log in, this will apply to. Next is locations, I'm going to configure this to yes, uh, basically any location, but we're now going to exclude the location we created previously. So select the deployment guy HQ, select that, and under grant, we'll grant access, but we're going to take require multi-factor authentication. So select on that, and underneath enable policy, we're going to turn it on, and then create. That's literally it. So on a test machine, I'm going to open a web browser, as you can see here, I'm currently in the UK within the public IP that I've previously set. I'm going to go to Office 365, sign in as Vincent Company. As you can see, I'm not challenged for MFA whatsoever, and I log straight in. So on a different test machine. I've got a VPN running, and at the moment I'm currently redirecting my traffic through Tokyo in Japan, as you can see here. Now when I go to Office 365 this time and try and log in as the same user, it should prompt me for MFA. It's now prompted me, so if I punch the numbers into the Authenticator app, it should technically log me in. There we are, I'm now logged in. I hope this video has been useful. Please don't forget to give it a like and subscribe to the channel below. This has been the Deployment Guy, and until next time, thank you for watching.